Hi, and welcome to the video series 5-Minute Metadata, where we will be walking you through all there is to know about metadata. To get started, let's answer the question, what is metadata? You might have heard it referred to as data about data, but when the term data can mean different things to different people, what does that actually mean? To answer this, let's talk about two different kinds of metadata, descriptive and structural, and how they relate to one another. Descriptive metadata relates to a piece of information and gives you extra detail about it, for example, a title of a picture, whereas structural metadata relates to many things and tells you how similar bits of information are stored and what they mean. To explore this in more detail, let's look at some pictures I took and some of their metadata. Let's look at some things about this photo I might want to know to understand it better. This first one was taken in New York while I was on a camping trip. It was taken at 4 p.m. and it had an exposure time of 2 seconds on the camera. Now let's have a look at a different photo. This one was taken in Florida while I was on vacation. It was taken at 10 a.m and the f-stop was set at 3.5. The descriptive metadata is changing because the picture has changed. Let's have a look at one last photo. This one was taken in Wisconsin at my house. It was taken at 12 p.m. and the exposure of the camera was set at one-tenth of a second. The descriptive metadata has changed for all three photos. This is because the descriptive metadata is unique to them but the structural metadata has stayed the same for all three photos. You've just seen three photos in my photo library. Now, let's put the information about them into a table. This is so I can search through them. But I don't have a lot of space, so I'm going to abbreviate some of them. I'm going to record a few extra photos I took. You'll notice all of the photos have similar information about them. A location, a time taken, and something about the camera. To make sense of all of this, I need to know what all of these columns mean. To make sure someone who sees this data can understand it, they need to know what it means, including the idea it's recording, such as the exposure time, and what its value is being recorded in, such as the number of seconds, the time it was recorded, in hours and minutes, and the location as a U.S. state name. By recording this information and linking it, I've recorded the structural metadata that describes this table to allow people to understand it. To sum it all up, how do you know if you're dealing with structural or descriptive metadata? We know that all sorts of files have metadata, including photos, music, spreadsheets, and even this video you're watching. Descriptive metadata is information that tells you things such as who made the file, when it was made, where it was made, and how big it is. And structural metadata applies to lots of files and helps you interpret data by describing what fields mean, even if this is describing descriptive metadata. Now you know what structural and descriptive metadata are and the differences between them. If you'd like to know more, please visit us at aristotlemetadata.com. Thank you for watching.